All right, what we're trying to do right now is find one fourth as a percent. You can see this double number line. We've got zero here and zero percent down here, and one over here that goes with a hundred percent right there. And these are always going to be the same every time we're trying to find a percent with a double number line. Zero, zero percent, one, one hundred percent. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out where one fourth goes. So what I want to do is label this first tick mark with one fourth, and I want to count over by fourths. So this would be two fourths, and this would be three fourths, and that means when I got all the way over to here, that would be four fourths. And I want to start counting. One, two, three, four. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm dividing 100% into one, two, three, four spaces. Well, that's pretty easy. I know how that goes. That's going to be 25% here, and 50% here, and 75% here. I'm counting by 25s. So in particular, what I'm able to do now is emphasize that 1 fourth is the same thing as 25%. By the way, I also know that 2 fourths is 50%, and 3 fourths is 75%. And it might just be a little bit helpful to think about the fact that 1 fourth of a dollar is 25 cents, and 1 fourth is the same thing as 25%. So let's try that again, except now I need to find 1 third as a percent. Same start, 0 goes with 0%, 1 goes with 100%, and I need to draw so let me see, I'm going to count by one-thirds. Oh, let me see, I need to, need to have a two-thirds here. Wait a minute, so that means what I'm gonna have is 100% broken up into one, two, three pieces. I think it's division time. So what I need to do is I need to take three and divide it into 100. Let me see, that's three. There's a nine, subtract. Get a one, bring down the zero. So that goes in three times. Subtra multiply and subtract, we get a one. Now normally, at this point, I would tell you, because we've done all this work with decimal arithmetic, I would tell you that it is time to put a decimal point here and bring down the zero, but we're not gonna do that in this case. So in this point, we're not gonna do it. Instead, we're gonna take what we have here and write this as a mixed number. So the way we're going to do this is we're gonna write our one third as the following. 33 and one third percent. In other words, one third as a percent is 33 and one third as a percent. Now you might ask yourself, wait a minute, Dr. Slater, you didn't fill out what goes underneath two thirds. What's gonna happen right there? Well, if I'm interested in two-thirds, right there, then what I need to do is I need to take what I have right here and double it. So if I do that, what I get, I'm going to write it over here, is 66 and two-thirds percent. You know what? Let's box that off. 66 and two-thirds percent is what goes with two-thirds up there, and one-third goes with 33 and a third percent. And there are some examples of how to find fractions as percents using a double number line diagram.